Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are currently in an S7 800. This machine has 181, 182 hours on it, basically. We are in Kansas right now, uh, cutting corn, and we're also going to be cutting some Milo here today around about 3 o'clock-ish. So, I'm just waiting on trucks to get back. I just got the combine greased and all the windows clean. And uh, once the trucks get here, but once the trucks get here, we'll get the show on the road. Get ready to move this thing around because I just cleaned all the windows and they're still a little wet. So flip the combine around, get the sunshine shining on the windows to get the gla glass cleaner to dry off. And then I need to really clean my back, my tank glass, because it is absolutely filthy. And we ran till about 2 a.m. last night, so uh, didn't have time to, to clean it last night or yesterday morning. I had a three and a half hour ride back in the morning, so uh, let's get some corn shelling. Actually, let's go over the S7800 before we get into uh, shelling some corn. So this combine does have the twin Gen 5 monitors in it, and then the updated uh, display right over there. I like them. They're, you know, no different really than a Gen 4. They just load a little bit faster. I really like this in the cab how you can get the deal door to sh seal shut because i remember growing up just barely shutting the door and having to slam it and i don't i'm not a big fan of slamming doors the adjustable auger spout there right out there i turn this turn dial moves it up and down so that's that's pretty nice. Which that turn dial is right here on your hydro stick. You just rotate it whichever way you want to go. Um, it's more or less the same header controls, and the uh, well, the whole joystick's the same as like an S770, S780, even like an S680 uh, or 70. Besides, it's a different style stick, but. Uh, buttons is all the same. This does have the cross auger shut off, so you press it twice, and I'll shut the cross augers off, and then it'll go off on its own. Um, this combine does have the cameras. That's both the cameras, and I hate the cameras. I don't like the cameras. I'm not a fan of the cameras. It has all the automation, the harvest automation stuff, and everything like that. So as you're running through the field. Uh, it just changes. I actually need to change that to these are normal stocks. The first corn we started to cut was high moisture corn, um, but all the controls layouts all the same as an S series. They didn't really change much here in the cab. They changed the steering wheel, and then you lift this up. You got a massaging seat. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. You got a heated and cooled seat. And then that's, I guess that's kind of how you adjust the heated and cooled seat. And then that's for like your side supports here in the seat. So nothing too major. Um, on the outside of the machine, I'm actually going to shut this off here. So on the outside of the machine, they really didn't change much. Like, physically of the machine from what i can tell besides you know they put the new logos on and uh redid kind of the the side paneling of the machine and the mirrors and this is a signature edition but like the hookups it's all the same it's it's just more or less like grandpa's 780 that he had this combine is on 1250 lsws and 750s on the rear which are really nice, and it does have the good, nice um, tailboard on it. The one thing I do like is how they did. I do like this. All the extra room crawling up and down. The only thing I don't like is that ladder's about straight up and straight down, and how are you going to blow out your radiator? They don't really give you anywhere good to stand to blow out your radiator, like on the 770s or 780s. So... I like that and I don't like that at the same time, but 
overall the machine is is the same i've ran it for i think going on two weeks now and it runs like a 780 just she just eats she loves to eat and the corn head is a gearing off north star i don't like it i do not like this header at all this header likes to plug and eat now i'm gonna take these off once we go to the next field i'm gonna take every single one of them off because what happens is water hemp or johnson grass gets like right here between the two and it won't slide over the tops of them so those are gonna, gonna get yanked off but it's not a bad looking not a bad looking combine at all it's actually cuts pretty good does a pretty good job but i'd rather have a 780 or a 770 than a new s7 oh and the globes the globes are built in and all the led lights just like that we're off to shelling some corn this is some pioneer corn making around the 100 120 mark not too bad this field drowned it out so it's not going to be the best best corn that we cut all year but it's sure falling in the grain tank it just got unloaded i'm gonna clean the grain tank after the uh, truck leaves again so it's gonna be another long beautiful day of shelling some cockaburry corn very cockaburry out here but we got 80 acres here, two forties. We got 12 acres left here, so it won't take too long to uh, knock this out. Which I think it's a 40 included, what they put the grass back there for floodlands, for ducks and geese and stuff. But we're just taking her nice and slow this morning. We only got one truck here. The other truck's still dumping Milo, so watch that beautiful corn get shelled. This is the harvest automation on this combine, and I need to change that to 105%, and uh, make sure my header doesn't plug. I've never tried this auto turn, and I'm gonna give it a try. Why did you just stop? Auto turn around on the inroads. Why are we going so, oh, we're turning, we're turning kind of weird is it skipping oh it's skipping a row okay put the header down shove the stick forward that's kind of cool and press E for the harvest automation well that's kind of interesting we got a grain cart tractor on out here 8RX 3 70 on a 1300 bushel Brent drink cart. Well, that was cool. I'm going to use that thing a lot more during bean harvest. Wait, which way is it going to go this time? Probably get into the trees, I think. It need to short, figure out a way how to shorten the turn radius up. Which... Oh, it don't even have a line this time. So I gotta manually turn it this time. Okay. As you can tell there on the display. Cool feature that this S7800 has is it automatically takes curves for you, which is really nice and kind of cool. Um, I do not run the automation, well, the, like the, the cameras to see uh, going around the edge, I just set the hydrostat by myself and watch the field. But as you can see, we're we're on a curve of a field right here, and I am 100% hands-free. Here's my other hand uh, going around the curve. It does a kind of sloppy job. It lays over a decent amount of corn, which kind of sucks. But it's kind of cool. It's better on the draper than on the corn head by a lot but the planter that they use is a 1795 that's brand new and something about the satellite on the planter and satellite on the tractor bluetooth it to the 
out of line here on the combine and it allows the combine to know exactly where the rows are and uh, yeah like right there it has no clue on where the row is but it's doing it it's doing it that's all that matters is it's doing it it gets back on it which this all the cornfields we're playing with the 16 row and we are harvesting with the 12 row really debating on going to a 16 row uh, corn head or maybe even doing the 20 inch jump but I need to hop off here and pay attention before I hit a tree.